Good morning. I am Chris Abraham and this is Chris Cast. And I am taking you on the road today. I'm walking, walking, walking to my favorite little park. And it's windy and a little chilly, but I didn't bring a sweatshirt. So I'm going to see what it's like if I walk and talk, okay? Thank you so much and thank you for suffering through the following advertisement until our next segment. So, you get to come with me on my morning routine. I'm leaving Dominion Towers, my... Uh, well, Dominion Towers has been good to me. It's pretty windy, so probably I'm going to throw this in the bin unless uh, Sony has amazing mad skills dealing with this kind of thing. And I walk. I basically gave up my car and motorcycle so that I walk more. Because I've been pushing 350 pounds for a long time now, and any type of excuse I have to get on my feet and walk or kettlebell or anything like that, I use. So I basically walk down South Courthouse Road to Columbia Pike, hook a left, and then walk up Columbia Pike till I hit Walter Reed. And then I uh, take a left, maybe stop at Idito's Coffee, maybe on the way on Columbia Pike I'll stop at Starbucks, but I made some rocket fuel in the apartment, uh, Nespresso Lungo capsules so that I could do my part to destroy the environment. And I carry my office on my back. Currently, I'm trying to break in a way too expensive bag, a duffel, that I bought on impulse from uh, Filson, made by a company called Ranchlands, and it's all leather, <clears throat> but it's not exactly the leather I had hoped. I'd hoped for a sort of more of a bridal leather, but the body of the bag is soft, sumptuous, freaking rich lady leather in uh, in natural color so it looks like I have a Birkin bag instead of a badass legacy duffel bag for a man so I'm carrying it for everything and everything everywhere for everything because I really wanted to uh, to break in so now I'm sitting down at some benches because what I do at this point is I if I'm going to go out for a walkabout, I take my 2011 circa, 2012 circa uh, Garmin Forerunner 310, no, no, 910 XT uh, GPS watch device, and I start it, and then I... Oops. And then I lock it. Keys locked. So I know that the way I have it set up, it can record upwards of eight, nine, ten hours of me walking, 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 which then I upload to Strava, and Strava takes that ten hours of sitting and walking and sitting and walking and working and walking and sitting and walking and then only takes the active times and uh so it's pretty great i just go ahead and pretend like i'm doing an ultra marathon and it usually results in between three and five miles which isn't that much but 
it's fun to participate on Strava and beguile my friends by seeing that I've only done five miles in eight hours. Other people are doing eight miles in, in one hour. Um, it's, uh, it's quite fun. So at this point, I'd put on my headset and set up a podcast, start listening to it. Uh, what I carry in my bag is a bunch of buffs because of coronavirus. But what I do is because it's the summertime, I've taken all my buffs and I've cut them in half. Uh, lengthwise, not through the, obviously, not through the, uh, the donut. But um, usually buffs are about two feet long. And I kind of cut them into foot long or if they're uh, 16 or 14 inches, I cut them in half to seven or eight inch um, uh, sections so that I can just have them around my neck. And I carry two of them or three of them. And I carry one around my neck so I can use it as a, as a cough guard. It's not so much of a mask as a virtual signal and a cough guard. And then I, uh, the other one I just sort of hook on, um, to my bag as, if you will, some place I can wipe my hands if I have lunch or if I need to sneeze or if I need to blow my nose or whatever. It's sort of like a hanky, which, you know, makes my Birkin bag look really macho. Anyway, I'm going to end this segment. All right, I'm back on the road. I don't know. I just really don't mind my neighborhood. It's not like when I was living on Capitol Hill, 14th and A Southeast, or even on uh, uh, 11th and East Capitol, because, uh, you know, it's not as interesting. There's no Capitol Hill right there. But, um, you know, it's just a neighborhood. And so I just deal with it. Um, There's Starbucks nearby. There's Pentagon City and Crystal City. And really, North Arlington is so close, but North Arlington feels so far. And actually, it's no further than walking all the way to Crystal City or to Pentagon City. So it's just... It's just not in a an interesting direction, you know. You have to get on uh, Washington Boulevard and just sort of schlep along there, and there's nothing going on. So, at least the way I'm going, I get to look at the Pentagon, and I look get to look, but I don't get to look at any of those things uh, on this walk. This walk is just up Columbia Pike, but I know people on Columbia Pike, and there's the Starbucks and. Like I said in a previous episode, my favorite park, currently my favorite park, uh, Penrose Square Park, where during times not of quarantine, I have plugs and cafe tables and with metal powder coated Frenchy looking ones with metal powder coated Frenchy looking chairs that can bear my weight. But even now, without the without the um, amazing uh, fountain and without the little kids playing and without uh, the tables, here comes a truck. There's still built-in benches, so if I want to get some sun and read and drink a coffee from Starbucks, I just pre-order on my app. And then uh, walk to Starbucks, get my coffee, maybe my croissant, maybe a bottle of water, uh, maybe a uh, Madeleine, walk over to there, and then bask in the sun, take out my little uh, Gen whatever uh, Kindle, the little one, and uh, maybe the DX, maybe the big-ass DX, 
and right now I'm reading uh, Pattern Recognition, rereading Pattern Recognition for the umpteenth time by William Gibson, which makes me so happy. <laughs> in, a, in, in, a, in a world, I would love to be Case. You know, I don't want to be Big End. I'd like to be Case, right? So, six foot three, 350 pound cisgender white dude wants to be a petite woman who has uh, a physical distaste for branding. I wonder what she feels about Filson. Anyway, she's fictional. Um, now I'm walking past Bobby Needs Diner. There's the traffic on Columbia Pike. Uh, Export Express is across. It's closed. Bobby Needs is open for delivery and, and socially distanced dining. Here comes another truck. And then here comes another truck. Big diesel dump trucks. My gym export is closed. Then there's William Jeffries which is actually really nice, but not my vibe. It's kind of hipster folk singer feeling, but the food's delicious in there. And if anybody wants to come to the neighborhood and isn't interested in Mexican food, that's where I take them. I also got to remember there's uh, the Irish place, but anyway. And then my beloved Taqueria El Poblano, which is pretty much open for outdoor seating now and uh, even though we do have a locally owned espresso place called Rapahane Coffee I freaking hate that place so here I just helped the lady catch the bus. She was rushing and I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Anyway, carry it. I can't drink anymore, you know. Uh, not because I'm an alcoholic, which I probably am, but because every time I do, it pops my poor little sinus rhythm heart back into AFib. And then a bunch of doctors freak out and they want to give me cardioversions and need to go to the doctors and the hospital. And it's not good for my poor little heart. It exhausts it. So while I can apparently drink coffee till the cows come home, truck! And it's not always the case, you know. Sometimes I drink the wine and it's fine, or whatever, whiskey or whatever. Beer. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it throw me throws me for a loop. I think it has a lot to do with how I sleep and my sleep apnea. Truck. Uh, but it's not worth it. I can't figure out the the maybe if I get an ablation uh, down the road after I lose a lot of weight, maybe at that point I can become debaucherous again and start chain smoking and drinking uh, bottles of whiskey but at that point I'll die anyway it'll kill me now I'm across some burrito bros burritos bros that is an amazing place for burritos and I want all their burritos and they've got this thing called a quesarito which is <laughs> oh my god damn that'll kill you so delicious. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. This is enough of you having a morning with me. Let me know if you like this form. Eh, I'll continue going. You can stop listening if you like and be like, this is such bullshit. Um, but you know, it's sort of hazy overcast. 
It's going to be, oh, it's uh, June 15th. Good morning. And uh, I'm passing CVS now in HR Block and Boost Mobile and Domino's. And I wonder if the salsa room is out of business or whether it's just in hibernation until this is over. Um, I was going to wait until barbers were allowed to open up again. My hair was getting totally shaggy and I kind of liked the way it looked. But it, when it comes to my hair, I have impulse control and I'm good enough at uh, self-cutting and have a peanut and a pretty good clipper. Um, that I did it myself. If I, if I pause, it's not from being out of breath, it's because someone's walking by and I should have put my headset on so it looks like I'm not talking to myself. There's a work truck with a big diesel next to me, so that's the sound you might hear. I'm not talking now because the sound of the uh, truck might be crazy for you. Or maybe you don't hear it at all. I don't know. This is my first couple days with this Sony UX570. I'm passing Acme Pie Company and Papillon Cycles. I've committed, committed to only using my local bicycle shop, Papillo Cycles, because I want them to be alive. I wonder what companies will remain alive after, uh, through coronavirus and this depression slash recession that's going on. One place I've never been to is this new Rebellion restaurant. Maybe I can convince someone to uh, come uh, eat here with me. But Cinnamon Draft House is closed. It says, close, stay safe, follow social media for updates. I love that place. I don't use it nearly enough. trucks, more diesel. I cross the street away from Ididos because I really don't want to engage in Ididos conversation at the moment. I love those guys, but I feel compelled that if I, if they catch my eye that I have to buy a bunch of stuff and I usually want to, but I had so much coffee this morning and I've got a little, uh, copper bottle, copa bo'o, copa bo'o of water in my bag, so I'm set up for now. It is 9.09.19 a.m. So I thought I'd be getting out early, but this is the earliest I've ever gotten out, even though in my entire career when I worked at offices, I insisted in coming in at 10 o'clock and then staying late. So, but I did start a mailing, an email list. I did start a blast at uh, 7.30. So, I mean, I've been working since then, but to be honest, I also watched last week with John Oliver. Um, So I don't know. 
there's a really big blank kind of I'm here I'm on Walter Reed now passing the BB&T bank uh, there's a big gap between here and the park so maybe I'll talk to you guys later By the way, if you're going to go ahead and start your GPS at the start of your walk, make sure that it's enabled because sometimes when you have your GPS in the apartment long enough, it turns itself off and says you're indoors. So next time you start it up, be sure to go in and make sure the GPS is enabled. The more you know, PSA, hashtag PSA. All right, I've arrived at the park and I'm sitting on a park bench and when I arrived there was a either a mom with a child or a nanny with a child and I wonder if you can hear the uh, the gas operated uh, cutter across the street but that's part of the ambiance right uh, the sound design of being outside so <laughs> you know I've never had this actual thought but I noticed that the entire time that this young mother or, or, or nanny was interacting with the child she was not going through the motions she was not considering uh, the child like you know, be it a mom or a nanny, she was not treating the child like a, um, like a piece of luggage. You know, she wasn't during the cursory, I've got to take the baby on a walk to the park, or these are my obligations, these are my check marks, I must do this. Take the baby outside, walk it about in the pram, not really paying that much attention to the child's enrichment, but going through and checking off the box. No, the entire time she was with this toddler, she was physically, emotionally, visually, and eyeball to eyeball engaged in a very real way. It wasn't just a kettlebell or a, or a, 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 a football or a, 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 an inconvenient uh, bowling ball it was a sentient human being um, and she was engaged in entertaining and enriching and playing and talking and communicating and loving on and I thought that was really beautiful anyway the reason why I brought her up first of all the reason why I really noticed her is because she was at the picnic table I wanted to work from and there's another dude on the picnic table behind me with, a, with an iMac or a, an iBook or um, an iAir or an Air Mac or Mac Air. Um, and then I just had to wait her out while she was being uh, an amazing parent or caregiver or, uh, or, or nanny. How I love you, how I love you, my dear old nanny. Um... She rocked, but then she left, and then I was getting ready to move over, and a dude and his dog came by the picnic table, and I'm like, no, and of course, he was just walking his dog, probably stepping in poop right now, and then they walked away, and so I was able to claim my pole position and my happy position that will, I'm going to probably be here for three hours and 41 minutes, or however long my my uh my laptop lasts and then i will walk home uh my 
Garmin Forerunner 910 XT is now connected to the GPS. So, um, the 920 XT that I have would automatically go between being inside and being outside. But this one, I need to remind myself in the morning to set it for GPS so that I don't walk my entire day for naught. Anyway, thanks for visiting. Thanks for coming. Thanks for staying. Please subscribe. I'll tell you more information in the next segment. My name is Chris Abraham. I have this little podcast. It's basically a, an audio diary, an audio journal, a brain dump to keep my brain empty, like it generally is if you listen to my brain dumps. You can reach me at chris at abraham.su. I really wanted an abraham.com domain, but because Abraham is, a, uh, is an extremely important prophet for... Jews, Muslims, and Christians, that's not possible. But in the godless world of the Soviet Union, Abraham.su was available. And since nobody knows that the Soviet Union existed until after uh, the top-level domains were created, .su existed before .ru. So I own Abraham.su, which I love because since I'm an influencer marketing and propaganda and deception marketing. Uh, people think I'm a Russian agent anyway and a Russian troll, so that makes me happy. So you can reach me at chris at abraham.su or you can reach me at cja at well.com or chris at gerr.is or cabraham at gmail.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Chris Abraham, Twitter at Chris Abraham. LinkedIn, at Chris Abraham. Instagram, at Chris Abraham. Uh, YouTube.com slash Chris Abraham. And all that fun stuff. Thank you, and I hope you subscribe and indulge my uh, id, ego, and super ego. Forever and ever, amen. <laughs>